Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at home lengths uh, 3.2, that's unit 3, lesson 2, fraction circles. So as you can see, you have four circles uh, here drawn ahead of time because you are going to create some fractional representations. Um, that's a fancy way of saying I'm going to draw a picture, okay? Question number one says divide into four equal parts, shade one-fourth, okay? So, first of all, when I divide a circle into equal parts, that means that all the parts have to be the same size. Now, that seems uh, rather obvious, but sometimes when I see kids divide circles, they'll try this kind of stripy pattern because they've cut it into four parts and they think that's good enough. But as you can see, this part right here on the right-hand side of that circle isn't quite as big as the other parts. Okay, they're not equivalent. Okay, so even though we divide it into four parts, those four parts aren't the same in size. Okay, so let's erase that. So as you can guess, since we have a circle, we're going to use the uh, kind of the pie method of slicing uh, the circle equally. So I'm going to cut cut uh, my circle in half like this, and then I'm going to cut it across horizontally. Okay. So I have now divided the shape into four equal parts. Now, then it says shade in one-fourth. There you go. So that is one-fourth of my circle. Actually, I'm going to make that green. There we go. All right, so now let's take a look at the second question. It says divide into eight equal parts, shade two-eighths. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to blue. All right. To divide this into eight equal parts, I'm going to start out the same way I did with four equal parts. Divide the circle in half, then cut those halves each in half, and now I have four quarters, or four fourths. Then I'm going to cut each of those fourths in half again, or cut, divide them into two parts, creating a total of eight parts. Okay. Each part is now worth one-eighth. Now, if I shade in two of the eighths, like so, that gives me two eighths. It's hard to see. It's all blue, so let me divide that there. Okay, so there are my two eighths. Now, if I compare them to my one-fourth, you're going to notice that it takes up the same amount of space on the page. One fourth takes up the same amount of the circle as two eighths. So that means one fourth and two eighths are equivalent. So when you go to solve problem number three, dividing the circle into 12 equal parts, then shading in three twelfths, you're going to run into some similarities with the first two problems. I'll let you do that on your own, along with number four, create your own problem and divide into equal parts and shade a portion. You can do that on your own. But let's go ahead and take a look at the practice problems down at the bottom. It says, list the next four multiples of five. Now you're going to notice that they did not start on five. They started on 20. So again, multiples are just skip counting by the digit in hand, okay? So if I start skip counting by fives, I go 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth. They want you to start after 20. Skip count by fives, starting at 20. So what comes after 20? If I'm skip counting by fives, well, it would be 20, 5, and then 30, then 35, and then 40, okay? Why am I doing this? Well, Thinking about uh, skip counting by five from a starting point other than five is a good exercise to help us think about how numbers work, okay? It's also true when you're skip counting that you don't always have to start at the very beginning. You start with where you need to start, okay? If I am exiting a burning building and I am two feet from the exit, I'm not going to go back to where I came into the burning building and double back all the way to the exit. I want to leave the quickest way possible, okay? So when I'm skip counting or looking for multiples and I'm starting at a place other than the beginning, 
That just means that my journey is that much quicker. Okay. If you have any questions on how to uh, create fractional uh, representations or basically draw a picture that shows a fractional amount, if you have questions on that or multiples or anything else math-related, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.